Hi, I'm Judy Garcia with the City of Brownsville Wellness Division. We're here for another segment of the Brownsville's Biggest Scissor Challenge. Uh, we're here talking about our events, upcoming events that we're having. Further details, I'm here with Nick Longfellow from the Community Development Corporation of Brownsville. Uh, hi, thank you for coming, Nick. Um, like I mentioned, you're with the Community Development of Brownsville. Um, what is your uh, affiliation as far as why did you guys want to be a part of the Biggest Loser this year? Well, we've done the Biggest Loser. We've competed in the past in the group competition and won. <laughs> and, you know, we really agreed with the message that public health is important. And so that's a large part of what our organization tries to do. And so we want, really wanted to step up our involvement with the Brownsville Biggest Loser Challenge. We see it as a great way to reach out to the community and to help really foster the message of how important health is to the quality of life of the residents of Brownsville. Right. And um, there's, I'm sure, many residents of Brownsville that come to your building on a daily basis. And uh, I'm sure that the, having the message and the flyers that you're building will help reach a lot of people. Oh, definitely. You know, we look out to reach those people and help them in health any way we can. A big focus of us is building housing that does take into account people's health with air quality and access to open space. And so we see this as a natural progression of that, encouraging them to, you know, eat a proper diet and exercise to a reasonable amount. And uh, with the community development, what event are you partnering with The Biggest Loser? We are actually working to co-sponsor the Midpoint Weigh-In with Biggest Loser. That'll be March 10th from 3 to 6 p.m. at our building at 901 East Levy Street. It's also going to be the Dancing in the Streets. It's going to take place nearby across the street in the Wells Fargo parking lot. And talking about your event, um, you mentioned that the weigh-in will be at the Community Development Building. What are some items that will be given away? Of course, they're going to be giving away sports bags to all the people who make it to the midpoint weigh-in. So that's going to be a great thing to kind of encourage people to get out and exercise. You know, gives them the equipment to do so. Right. Um, and you mentioned that, that you, your team won or a team from the community development uh, won the Biggest Loser Challenge. What category was it? Um, we were in the small group category. So that's groups under 25 people, I believe. Mm -hmm. And um, the way we did that is, you know, just setting up an accountability system. We had people really pulling for each other and everyone working as a team to try and lose weight. I believe they lost over 400 pounds together combined as the office. So it was a great, great development. You know, everyone kind of encouraged each other in the lunchroom to eat healthy, to make sure that they were using portion control and to make sure and get out and exercise. And I know that that spirit has continued past the end of the competition. We've actually managed to get people to, you know, continue to eat healthy and be conscious of how much they're exercising and not just be concentrating on how much work they're being done. You know, it's, it's a shame that sometimes people get so concentrated on just busy, busy, busy work that they forget that they have to take care of themselves and their body or they're going to be ultimately less productive. Uh, and I'm glad you mentioned that. I know that when people consume fattier foods or when they are not taking care of themselves, um, exercising daily, their attitude kind of changes in the workplace. They're maybe more moodier or they're grumpy or, you know, have you noticed a change within this past year? Oh, I mean, definitely. I know that people, you know, just in general, they seem to be eating healthier and everyone seems to be just a little happier, a little mm -hmm. more pleasant. And it's, you know, it's obviously kind of a, a body change. It's an attitude change. And it might not just even be what they're eating, but just the fact that they feel good about themselves for taking such good care of themselves. Uh, I know here in Brownsville there is a growing rate of obesity and diabetes. Uh, what are your thoughts behind and what is, is community development doing um, in regards to those rates increasing? Definitely. Well, community development works mostly with low-income families and people who are statistically more affected by diabetes and obesity than the rest of the population. And so we like to take a number of public health, health initiatives, like working with Brownsville Biggest Loser. We see those as a way to kind of build a system of support yeah. for people to help them get over and kind of deal with the problems personally. In addition to that, we also, in our designing our housing, we like to make sure that it has plenty of access to open space, places for people to exercise. And, you know, we like to build communities that are able to support each other. And, you know, if they can go through things like that, then we think that's a great, great bonus. 
Uh, and some some participants or community uh, members are a little hesitant of joining um, the Biggest Loser, maybe again or for the first time. Uh, what are what's some encouragement that you can? I know that because your team was successful in the in last year's challenge. What are, what's some encouragement that you can give to maybe people that are wanting to join for the first time or want or don't know if they should return to the Biggest Loser? Definitely. I mean, I would just say that. Having a high, high level of health is the most important thing in terms of quality of life. And that while there are a lot of genetic issues that you obviously can't control, one thing you can be very, very in control of in a way to, you know, just really increase your quality of life is to, you know, make sure you exercise and work out hard. And so working with Brownsville Biggest Loser, you have a chance to really set yourself up on a pattern of making sure that you eat healthy, you maintain and you maintain a proper level of exercise so we really we see that as a way to establish a system for you that can last far beyond this competition and lead to a healthier lifestyle and one more time on that event that's coming up sure cdcp is working to co-sponsor the midpoint weigh-in and that's going to be march 10th from 3 to 6 p.m at 901 east levy street thank you nick for being with us here today thank you for having me judy once again, this is Judy Garcia with the City of Brownsville Wellness Division for the Biggest Loser Challenge segment. Remember to check out our website, bbl.cob.us, for more information and details of the events coming up. Remember, you have nothing to lose but those extra pounds.